Hello everyone, welcome back to another deck idea brought to you by Double Sleeved. Today we're covering the Another World Budokai Sun Goku leader, uh, which is one of the new blue leaders coming out in Dawn of the Sea Legends. Uh, it's going to be featuring a lot of characters that we haven't seen in the card game previously, uh, that only got a bit of a small glimpse in Dragon Ball Z. I uh, would love to see these characters again in Super for some kind of universe tournament again, uh, but let's just wait and see. Starting off with the leader, we've got Sun Goku uh, with a permanent. You can't include black battle cards in your deck. Uh, there's a lot of good black sideboard cards available at the moment, uh, which we won't be able to include. Uh, also, there's a lot of Overrealm, uh, which is heavily black outside of the new secret rare, uh, which we won't be able to include in this deck as well. We've got Activate Main once per turn. Discard three Another World Budokai cards from your hand. Draw three cards. Uh, so we're going to cycle through our deck very quickly to be able to see a lot of different cards. Uh, and we're going to get our Budokai cards into the drop area, which uh, has some various effects that we will cover in this video. Awaken when your life is at four or less, or there are three or more Angel Halo in your drop. Uh, you may draw one card, switch one of your energy to active, and then you add cards from your life to your hand until you have six left. On our Awaken side, 15k, pretty standard. Uh, auto, discard one card from your hand. When this card attacks, draw one. We've got to activate main. Send two blue Another World Budokai cards from your drop area to your warp. Add up to one Angel Halo from your drop to your hand. Uh, so we're starting to see the relevance of having those Another World Budokai cards in the drop area. Uh, but also we have an activate battle once per turn. Use up to two blue Another World Budokai cards with 5,000 combo power from your warp in a combo and they get minus 3,000 combo power and have their skills negated for the turn. Uh, so a lot of synergy to just to kind of make up for that hand size that we're going to be uh, missing out on compared to other decks since we're not necessarily adding cards to hand. A lot of the times we draw one but we have to discard one and things like that. Um, so we do get some kind of synergy and being able to, to combo uh, from the warp instead of using cards from our hand. Starting off with the main deck, we've got Angel Halo, which has been referenced quite a bit on the leader. Uh, it's a zero cost blue extra card. Activate battle limit one. Choose up to one of your leader or battle cards and it gets plus 1000 power for the battle. Additionally, if you have a mono blue Z battle card in play, the chosen card gets plus 4000 power for the battle. So uh, even the plus 1000 is not too bad when our opponent's swinging 15k into our 15k leader, uh, just to be able to get over that attack. Um, but majority of the time we're going to have that mono blue Z battle card in play, or at least try to, uh, so be able to get this to that plus 5000 power. North Kai here to cheer, it's a one cost barrier, uh, 4k, activate main once per turn, place up to one angel halo from your deck in your drop and then shuffle your deck, and then we've got to activate main for one energy, we get to choose one. Look through your life and place up to one angel halo in it in the drop, if you place a card in the drop, add one card from the top of your deck to your life and then shuffle, or place up to one Angel Halo from your deck in your drop and then shuffle the deck. So pretty good to be able to uh, search our life and not necessarily lose a life if uh, Angel Halo is in there. Uh, I know a lot of people have played Wish previously where you can get stuck with Dragon Balls in life and it's a shame to have to take them out and not replace it. But uh, as soon as this card is played, we do the activate main first, uh, we search the deck and we can tell automatically uh, whether we have any in life at that point. And if we do, then the next turn we can search our life to be able to get them out, which is really good. And it has barriers, so it's going to be very difficult for our opponents to remove as well. Uh, West Kai Impeding Clash, uh, a one cost, 5k, when this card is played, look at the top 5 cards, add up to one West Galaxy Warrior or another World Budokai, both blue, energy cost of 5 or less, or one blue unison with a specified cost of 2, and then shuffle. Uh, so, standard searcher, pretty good to be able to, to search out the unison or the battle cards that we need, it searches out a lot within this deck, which is always good. Uh, Majoran, I believe it is, North Galaxy Warrior, it's a 2 cost 5k, uh, we've got a permanent, if there are 2 or more Angel Halo in your drop, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by 1, bring it down to a 1 cost, uh, when this card is played, draw 1, then place up to 1 blue Another World Budokai card from your warp in, from your, warp in your drop, and then we've got an activate main, limit 1, if your leader is a blue, another World Budokai card, and you send this card to its owner's warp and discard one Angel Halo from your hand, 
Add up to one blue Another World Budokai card with an energy cost between 3 and 7 from your warp to your hand. So we're going to be cycling a lot of these Angel Halos between our drop and our hand and things like that to get our effects. Uh, but this card allows us to pick up uh, another Another World Budokai card uh, that we've sent to the warp. Uh, earlier in the turn, you know, whether we've discarded it for our leader's effect to draw three and things like that, it just means that we can have access to get those cards back and they're not necessarily gone. Sata, North Galaxy Warrior, this is a counter attack for the deck. Uh, it's a three cost 15k, negate the attack and play this card. Permanent if it's your opponent's turn and two or more Angel Halo are in your drop, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by two, becoming a one cost. Uh, and if your lead is another blue, another world Budokai card, and you discard one Angel Halo from your hand. When this card is played, your opponent can't attack with battle cards, five or less for the turn, unless they place one card from their hand at the bottom of the deck. Uh, we've seen a lot of different kind of floodgates for blue, uh, whether they're leader locked and, and things like that, but uh, this is pretty standard. Obviously, it's susceptible to counterplays, but if it does hit the field, pretty good, especially against low to the ground decks. Alibu, North Galaxy Warrior, another 3 cost 15k, auto, discard 1 blue, another world Budokai card from your hand, when this card is played, draw 1, and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards and return it to the owner's hand, and we've got to activate main, limit 1 for 1 blue energy, discard 1 angel halo from your hand, play this card from your warp, uh, so again, some good synergy, we don't necessarily have to have this card in hand, we can warp it, or send it to the drop area and things like that, early on in the game, and then still have ways to play it out uh, and being able to bounce something without any kind of energy restriction is really good uh, moving on to some of the better kind of battle cards for the deck we've got the first sr ss sun goku vs Paikuhan dead heat uh, it's a four cost 15k deflect dual attack uh, we've got the auto when this card attacks choose up to one mono blue battle card 5000 combo power in your drop Use it in a combo with its skills negated for the turn, and then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Uh, it's not once per turn, so every time we swing, we're going to be dealing 420k, uh, but being able to bottom deck cards is so much uh, better than, you know, bouncing them back to hand and things like that. So a really good effect. At the end of your turn, draw one, then switch one of your mono blue energy to active mode. Again, not once per turn. Uh, so, well, I guess it would never would be once per turn, but it's not, sorry, what I mean to say is it's not on the turn that it's played. Uh, so every time that this card, every turn that this card sticks on the field, uh, we're going to be able to get that draw one and switch one of your mono blue energy to active mode, which is really good. Uh, going to be difficult to keep this card on the field. It doesn't have barrier, um, but it does draw attention away from our leader onto this card. And blue has so much defensive capability that we can keep this card around. Activate main limit one for two blue energy. If you have three or more energy and discard two mono blue extra cards from your hand, play this card from your hand and it gains barrier for the turn. Uh, so again, we're, we're going to be discarding those angel halos to pick up. We've got a couple of other extra cards that we can discard if we need to, uh, but on the turn that it's played, it does have barrier, which is really good. But uh, so it's going to stick around for, for one turn generally, but uh, every turn following, it's going to be a bit more tricky. The next SR, we've got the 6 cost 30k SS Sun Goku Another World Blitz. Uh, a lot of keywords on this one. We've got Deflect, Triple Strike, Barrier, and Blocker. Uh, auto, when this card is played, draw one, then choose up to X of your opponent's battle cards, where X is the number of extras, uh, extra cards in your drop, and place them at the bottom of the owner's deck in any order. So a pretty solid board wipe. Uh, doesn't ignore Barrier, but uh, we've got a lot of effects that make this card really good. Auto limit 1, at the end of your turn, switch this card to active mode, then switch up to one of your mono blue energy to active mode. Uh, again, similar to how we saw on the previous card. Uh, also similar to the blue boo unison uh, as well, being able to untap that energy. Activate main for 4 blue energy. If there are no battle cards in your drop, play this card from your hand. Uh, so pretty good since we're going to be sending a lot of our battle cards to the warp and things like that, and we still do get to combo with them there. Uh, that we can kind of play this card as soon as we have that drop area clear But it also makes sense why they're not letting us overwhelm since that would be kind of broken Super combo we've got Grand Kai grandest of them all uh, If your lead is blue and your life's four or less when it's using a combo draw one uh, It's on theme for the deck and also searchable from the one drop West Kai if we need to uh, 
since it is another World Budokai card, but uh, pretty good. We, we don't see much of Grand Kai in the show, in the card game, or in any kind of the material, so it's always exciting to see him around. Uh, unison for the deck, we've got Hit, Battlefield Manipulator, 2 cost, blue Unison, 15k, plus 1, activate main, draw 1, and then a minus 1, activate main for 2 blue energy. Uh, if your opponent has 3 or more energy, you flip your opponent's leader, and they can't activate their awaken until the end of their next turn. Uh, good to kind of draw some cards, um, since we're, we're not going to be drawing that much, but we're going to be cycling through the deck a fair bit. Uh, and towards the late game, we kind of just start picking up the cards from the drop area and things like that. So it's good to be able to continue to draw without... Uh, without relying on some of our other battle cards and leaders. Realm of the Gods, Beerus destroys. Uh, activate main, uh, sorry, activate battle if your leader and all your energy is blue. Uh, choose one of your cards, it gets plus 10,000 power. If it's your turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost higher than the current energy and bottom deck it. And if it's your opponent's turn, draw one and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, two or less, and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Uh, Great card, I, I use it in a lot of blue decks, uh, especially with decks that play a lot of things with Activate Main, since uh, there's a lot of Dark Power Marseille running around at the moment, so this we have a lot of 15Ks that would get hit by that card, uh, so this is a good way to kind of remove that. Sensu Bean, standard blue, uh, Activate Battle, choose one of your cards, plus five for the turn, and then choose up to two of your energy and restand them. Dimension Magic, uh, another blue staple, negate the attack, two blue energy, you get to restand them. We've got Sparking 5 if we have five or more cards in the drop area, which we can do quite easily. Um, but it gets a bit more tricky once we start sending them to the warp and picking up our extra cards and things like that. Uh, but just paying one to untap two is always good. Intersecting Fates, uh, this is to kind of keep that extra card count up high uh, for some of the things like our four drop Goku and Paikohan card. And things like that but it's also a pretty good card that doesn't see much use at the moment uh, it's a one cost if your leader is blue look at up to two cards from the top of your deck add up to one card among them to your hand and then place the remaining cards at the bottom of the deck in any order and then at the end of the turn we choose one of our mono blue energy and switch it to active mode Children's army reinforcements uh, two cost negate the attack play a token with blocker for life's five or less we can oh, pardon me uh, if our life's 5 or less, then we can activate it by taking a life to our hand. And then we've got the Secret Rare, Baby Hatchiak, Saiyan Destroyer. Uh, if we have 3 or more energy, negate the attack, play the card, and our opponent can't attack for the turn. Uh, and then we can activate this card by discarding one card from hand to activate its counter if our leader is blue. Uh, one of the best SCRs in the game. Uh, you'd argue whether this card is better to run than the new blue Secret Rare, but for this deck I think Hatch probably still takes the cake. Uh, and then moving into the Z deck, we've got our Z Awaken Ultra Instinct Son Goku Limitless Awakening. Uh, it's critical double strike. So Z Awaken for one blue energy if our life is three or less, and you have seven or more energy over a blue Son Goku. When this card attacks, draw one, and then this card gets plus 1,000 power for each card in our energy and Z energy. And once per turn for one blue, place one of your Z energy in the drop area. When your opponent attacks with a battle card, negate the attack. So really good if we are able to get down to that 3 life and 7 energy, since we do have a lot of uh, good defensive cards within the deck as well um, to kind of keep us alive. SS Sun Goku Awakened Onslaught. It's a 1 cost, uh, 1 specified blue, and then 3 Z energy. Auto, place 1 of your Z energy in the owner's drop area. At the end of your turn, remove this card from the game, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of 5 or less, and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. Activate main once per turn. If your leader is mono blue and you discard one extra card from your hand, draw one and this card gains critical for the turn. Again, while we kept that extra card count up a bit higher than normal, um, but we've also got the angel halo to it to cycle as well. Uh, great to be able to get a 15k critical that draws you a card uh, and the longer this card sticks around, the better as well. And then we've got Cell Awakening of the Created. This is a three specified blue 2z energy 25k deflect critical when this card is played choose all of your opponent's battle cards energy cost of five or less and place them under this card and then we've got an activate main once per turn if one or more cards are under this card and you place all of them in the owner's drop area switch this card to active mode additionally if you use this card skill to place four or more cards in the drop this card gains triple strike for the turn so 
exceptional to be able to give this card critical triple strike uh, and potentially uh, to, so to swing with a 25 critical and then restand it and potentially have a 25k triple strike critical swing uh, is really good if our opponent doesn't have that many negates but being able to bottom deck the entire field five or less is also really good uh, so that's the new Sun Goku deck. Uh, a couple of interesting cards. You know, I think that we'll see some more Z battle cards and Z leaders come out in the anniversary box that might be uh, more suited for the deck. But hopefully, it does see some support later on, whether that's TPs or anniversary cards and things like that. I think it's definitely a unique kind of uh, period of Dragon Ball Z history that I'd like to see some more of. As always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next deck idea.